Let's talk about some basic CRT purity ring adjustments. Oh yeah. So here's that PVM 1341 that I did a full deflection and power board recap and everything looked great. But if you look at the bottom left, I got some purity or some discoloration. Here you can see it's a little darker than that static background. Here on a blue screen, it's got kind of a yellow tinge to it. And so I'm thinking, you know, it got magnetized. I need to order a, a degaussing coil. But I looked in the service manual at the purity section and I talked about beam landing and setting the yoke by getting your purity with a blue and red at opposite ends of the screen. And I didn't want to get that in depth with anything. But I noticed they talked about putting your purity ring tabs at the 12 o'clock position for a base adjustment to start off. And knowing how loose these things were and moved around, I decided to go ahead and give them some adjustments and just play around with them and see what they did as I turned them. And the first thing I noticed was just how much those purity rings can uh, rotate your image on screen. And here you can see that discoloration disappearing right away. But just look at the effects on geometry and horizontal bowing and distortion. And it really made me think like I've seen so many posts on Reddit and in forums about, you know, people having horizontal bowing issues that they can't get rid of. And this might be one way to alleviate that on top of, you know, all the discoloration posts I've seen. They might have purity issues in one corner and everybody says, you know, get a degaussing coil to solve your issues and I thought that's what I was gonna have to do but I was able to solve all mine by, by just adjusting these rings I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody I'm not suggesting you do this that's you know this is totally up to you whether you want to mess with these to try to dial any issues in but it took this monitor from from nice looking to spectacular um, after all those caps were replaced and I set the convergence and everything this this was the last final little tweak that finally got it looking you know what I expected it to look like but it seems if you have both tabs together and just rotate them around the yoke um, it kind of shifts your image around affects bowing and geometry and if you move those tabs apart it starts to affect purity more and so what I did is I went into the 240p test suite and I loaded up the white, red, green, and blue purity screens. And I just played around with those purity rings on each screen. Went to the white screen, I played around, rotated them together, rotated them separately. I just tried to make a mental note about what position on that yoke that that color looked the purest. I didn't use gels or no scientific way, it was just all by eye. So, you know, there's a disclaimer on that. I did the same thing with red, rotated them together, rotated them apart, took mental note where I thought the color looked the purest and best. And I just did that with each color until I found that really for me and this set here at the 12 o'clock position with both tabs together, you know, that that's best case scenario it was easy to set but that's what looked best for me and of course after i made those adjustments go back through the geometry setting process and get all that squared away again but this uh pvm 1341 with the 600 tv line tube it looks absolutely fantastic now the tube itself was replaced in 07 so i believe it's got a lot of life left on it it's 600 TV line. And after getting the cap issues resolved, convergence, and now the purity and the focus set, it's, it's really a beautiful monitor now. So there's nothing technical or scientific about this. This is just observations I made by playing with those rings, but there's a grid pattern picture and it, it the results for me were definitely worth it. And I'm glad I decided to mess with those rings here you can see the ikigami on the bottom before the sony could not even compare and now as you can see 
it, it rivals it, if not beats it flat out. So the moral of this story, once again, is don't be afraid to play with your rings. Just mark them first.